like a bow. Vulnerability. A good man will find vulnerability in a woman attractive. And not just that, he will not take advantage of her. And not just that, he's going to want to help her. He's going to want to um, support you. And he's not going to get angry at helping you. He's not going to resent. He's not, whenever you need help, he's going to be there for you. Whenever you need, you, you need an extra hand, he's going to be there for you. And they like that. Because men want to help women for the most part. They're wired to want to help because that's when they show their strength. Showing interest too fast. I'm, control your emotions. Stop, oh, stop pursuing the guy. Stop trying to make things happen. Let it happen. As a woman, all you got to do is just be there. Where you guys go wrong is when you guys try to take the initiative into your own hands. That's where you guys go wrong. Because then you guys try to initiate everything. That kind of stuff puts on puts pressure on a guy and it just makes you look weak. Plain and simple. Makes you look desperate, okay? The first sign that you want to look for is proximity. With a guy, is that if a guy is around you, if you notice that he just happens to be around you, he's if, if he happens to walk right near you, if he's looking at you, by just having some sense of proximity, sitting next to your table, um, sitting close to you, he that's that's a sign that he's that he has some sort of attraction now most guys aren't confident enough to actually say hey what's up and go and approach but the way that they communicate to you that they're attracted is through being close to you and having proximity okay by the way if you're in new york city and you'd like to attend our meditation group click on the description down below where it says message me on whatsapp or instagram and i'll send you all the information it's only for people who live in the area i'm in bushwick so that's where we're going to be having it it's every sunday evening for one hour it's $10 to attend. Um, you have to join the WhatsApp group though, so that's why you gotta click on the description down below and message me there, and I'll send you the link and the tickets. It's only, it's, it's exclusive. That's why I can't just let anybody purchase the tickets. Never say no, even if it's on purpose. Look, sometimes, look, when you like somebody, you're more agreeable. When you like somebody, you're charmed by them. And so you're more open to say yes, right? And even though you sort of, think you agree with him a lot of the times when you're always saying yes to somebody that you like a lot of the times you're not aware of it but you, you you're having confirm you're having cognitive bias like you just you have a bias like if there were somebody else you wouldn't say yes to half of the shit that they would say that, that you would say yes to and so and so what you have to learn to do is say no even though you don't feel like saying no maybe you should say no periodically even if you really want to say yes because it actually makes it raises your value the first one is this you're not attractive enough for him the reason why he he, he ignores you after the first day also is that he just doesn't find you attractive enough for, for, or for his taste i mean it's pretty simple um to me that has been the only the biggest reason the biggest reason for me ignoring a woman it wasn't because she didn't use my tactics you know it wasn't because she no it was because just what that just didn't find you attractive it's pretty simple but i'll tell you what i'll never tell her that I'll never tell a woman that. And they'll never tell you that. Guys will never tell you that. Only the psychos who want to hurt your feelings will tell you that. Never fully say no to her. Never completely break up, break up with a girl. If you don't want a relationship with her and you just want to fuck her, look man, I know you're tired of her, but I can promise you, if you break up with her, you may want her back. So it's better off that if you with a girl that, that you kind of, that, that she, you know, you got, you're getting something out of, but you don't like that much, do not tell her that you don't want her. By you never saying completely no, you, you, you don't give her the opportunity to leave, at least emotionally. You never ever say no. You always keep her guessing. You always make her think that maybe, that maybe this is gonna happen. Even though you know it's not gonna happen, but you never tell her that. No matter how, no matter how good you are at texting, no matter how good you are at, 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 project, at, at managing impressions through text messages, what will make a guy fall in love with you, what will make a guy like you and become attracted to you, is the person who you are. There's been plenty of times when I would text a girl and they'll, they'll come across as cool and I'll be like, wow, I want to meet her. But when I meet her, she didn't come across, she doesn't have that same vibe that she had through text messages. There was no continuity in that person. There was no congruency and you felt that. Rather than focusing on what you're seeing, I want you to primarily change your focus from 
how you're coming across through text messages to how you're coming across as in through as a person or generals when you're playing by the general now i'm not saying that it you know be recorded and all that stuff that's fun but when you abide by those rules and nothing outside of that that's the issue if you rely on that guys are not worth your time are going to use that in order to get you they're gonna play those generals it's not and it's easy to play generals and so when you're playing those generals you kind of restrict yourself from meeting guys that are from different perspectives um you may not know if you may, may, may or may not like it a guy who's more feminine a guy who doesn't fake the mole you know and so you're only gonna restrict yourself to certain guys no wonder you keep meeting the same guys because you have the same because you have certain expectations that only attracts those guys so how to make a guy see you as wifey material. I remember dating this girl for a few months. And we were just fuck buddies. We would see each other every few um a few times a few times a month. And I really didn't have any emotions towards her. Until she told me one thing that made me like her more. And it was we will make good kids together. Like it was almost like she was complimenting our looks. And what happened is that over time, I just started thinking about that more often. I just started imagining her having a kid with me. And it became very hard to get that thought out of, out of my head. Eventually, it didn't work out between me and her. But what I'm trying to tell you is that this worked. He likes you, but is acting like he does. He's, and, and you tend to see that as inconsistency. You would just see a guy who's inconsistent with you, a guy who tell who cancels on you from time to time, a guy who takes days or more than 10 hours to respond to you with a valid excuse with a valid excuse all the time. That type of stuff is unacceptable. And the way you deal with that type of inconsistency is for you to become more inconsistent. Like I always say, you don't deal with coldness with warmth. It, we're not about that life. You deal with coldness with coldness. Because if he likes you and he's cold and he actually likes you, he's going to sense that he's going to try to use the last, like the last, um, the last tool in his weapon, which he doesn't want to use. And that's why if he doesn't prove himself to you, he he's eventually going to leave you because he wants to prove himself to you. That's the price that every man has to pay to make a woman love you, or at least the price that they think they have to pay, right? Because the act of proving themselves to you automatically makes them fall for you. If you end up with a guy where he where you try where he tries to prove himself to you, just by him trying to prove himself to prove himself to you automatically automatically makes him fall in love with you. So naturally men want to prove themselves. If if you don't feel the need to prove yourself, then you just don't respect them, right? So you should also feel the need to prove yourself to him. Alright, ladies, so finally. I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five week course, five week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. Th this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over the third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature with over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen.
right? $97. We have different packages, but all of this starts at $97. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos, all right? So you can just check it out for free, and then you can get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I can promise you, just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're going to love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now, all right? I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.